We must free ourselves of the hope that the sea will ever rest. We must learn to sail in high winds. Don't worry about your physical shortcomings. I'm no Greek god. Don't get too much sleep and don't tell anybody your troubles. Appearances count. Get a sun lamp to keep you looking as though you have just come back from somewhere expensive. Maintain an elegant dress even if you have to live in the attic. Never nickel when short of cash. Borrow big, but always repay promptly. People forget quickly. Only a few weeks earlier, they may have been on the verge of death. Then comes safety and the grumbles and complaints begin over all sorts of trivialities. Wait for the night to come and don't celebrate until your thinking is done. Then enjoy a good meal in the company of friends and try to avoid talking business at the table. Our system of life outlaws individualism today. Everything is done through public corporations, associations, groups of people. If an individual is mediocre today, he can get away with it. If he is outstandingly successful, he becomes suspect. Outstanding individualism aggravates and disturbs the rest of society. A pity, perhaps, but it's so. For those reasons, it is harder for a boy to succeed today than when I first started. The social system has changed so much. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. The two elements of success are to rise early and always have a time. Be rich or be an enemy of the rich. I understand both, but never envy the rich and try to please them. In my mind, the world is just too small. I don't need a university degree. One day, what I do will astonish you. Eat moderately when you have something urgent to take care of. Avoid rich foods and wine. Spending hours at the table while your mind is wrapped up in work that has to be done is still one of the best ways to shorten your existence. You usually find that if you make things comfortable for people, they like you. My mother died when I was six. If she had lived, I might not have worked as hard as I have done. It is my rule in business to be the buyer, never the seller. I made one great mistake. I never thought that in our world, emotions could override all business reason. You don't force with money, my dear. You seduce. The crisis is all part of the game. Ingratitude and meanness. I've seen some people whose greatest satisfaction is to hurt needlessly. Others like to be nice. Sometimes, without realizing it, at the time I know I've been ungrateful. That makes me suffer most, because there is no excuse. If women didn't exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. Behind every millionaire hides a frenzied borrower. You are not truly wealthy unless you earn money while you are sleeping. To be successful, you must act big, think big and talk big. Don't sleep too much. If you sleep three hours less each night or a year, you will have an extra month and a half to succeed in. The only rule is there are no rules. The secret of business is to know something that nobody else knows. To succeed in business, it is necessary to make others see things as you see them. After a certain point, money is meaningless. It ceases to be the goal. The game is what counts. Wealth comes from knowing what others do not know. In business, we cut each other's throats, but now and then we sit around the same table and behave for the sake of the ladies. The more you own, the more you know you don't own. 
millions do not always adapt to what a man needs out of life. I consider a good reputation is a great part of the human happiness. Some people, if they are very, very rich, can permit themselves certain negligence to their reputations. I have no friends and no enemies, only competitors. To be successful, keep looking tan, live in an elegant building, even if you are in the cellar, be seen in smart restaurants, even if you only nurse one drink, and if you borrow, borrow big.